Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus in Pisces. So if in your birth chart, Venus is in the sign of Pisces, these messages are for you for the month of August, 2020. And this can also apply if you have Pisces as your seventh house ruler. So I wanna thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you are wanting to book a personal or private reading, just be sure to check the description box below on ways to reach me. All right, so we have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the uh, six of uh, wands. We have the two of pentacles, the queen of swords, the eight of swords, judgment, Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Chariot. All right, so the overall energy um, I feel is about needing to have courage and needing to have confidence. Um, there could be someone coming towards you if you're being pursued. Whoever's coming towards you, they might be a nervous person. They could be um, insecure sometimes. Or maybe every time they start to come forward, they change their minds. They might also be someone who's sending mixed signals. Could be uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, but I feel that, that maybe something has had a hard time getting up off the ground. If you are in a relationship, something could be going on where your partner uh, needs a lot of attention or that both of you do. Um, either way, it does look like it's about mutual support and helping each other. Um, somebody also has um, victim mentality. Feels like they need help or need to be rescued or uh, just feel like nothing's ever their fault and they're helpless. Somebody has that type of mindset. If it's you, just make sure that, you know, you just need to change your perspective or change your way of thinking. Uh, that is all negative thinking and anxiety. Your own thoughts could be holding you back or preventing you from pursuing your goals. I also see you getting a lot of attention or a lot of flirtation or multiple offers, but I feel that you don't believe that you deserve it or you're questioning why, or you just feel overwhelmed and don't know what to do because so many people, uh, you have so many options. Either way, it looks like you need to overcome some sort of self-doubt to have what you want. Um, you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in love if you want it. Um, you've got to believe that something can be possible. There is some unfinished business that you might have with somebody from the past, somebody who once hurt you, um, or it could be an ex. Even if, like I said, if you didn't have a relationship with this person, it just still looks like there was pain inflicted. Um, and maybe things never got to move forward or be recovered from that. Maybe someone's feelings got hurt so bad that they never recovered from it and just got stuck in their head about something. So someone's been mentally handicapped about progressing forward with a love interest. But it, I do feel like at some point, there a conversation needs to be had. I feel too like someone's gonna call or someone is trying to get your attention. Um, spirit also may be trying to get your attention but make sure that you're paying attention. You might be overlooking something or you might be blinded by your own insecurities and doubts. Hmm. Now, for some of you, this could have been a weird situation where, yes, you were dealing with someone who already had a relationship or a family. Um, I don't know if this person is still stuck and thinking about you, but they hurt you by that. 
or the maybe you tried to work with that situation, but it just didn't work out. Also, if you were in a relationship, there could have been some sort of betrayal. Somebody could have uh, blew your head up or blew your uh, your um, partner's head up and made them think, you know, all of this stuff, and they ended up slipping and sliding with somebody, and you know, it 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 broke everything up. Hmm. I feel that someone does want commitment or they want something long term or they want something serious. It also looks like there is some sort of clash in a relationship. So if you if you run a business with your significant other, it could be hard trying to mix business with pleasure. Like maybe you guys are at each other's throats when you work together, which makes it hard to be intimate when you're off of work and when you're no longer working together. So you guys are needing to work out some sort of differences. I also feel that uh, family could be an issue in regards to relationships. Family is coming in between people or family instigates. So you may need to set boundaries with your family members, but especially um, depending on whose perspective this is like um, if you know if the issues are coming from your your partner's family like you need to set boundaries with them if your family is the cause of the problem they're at some point going to give you an ultimatum or ask you to set some sort of boundaries so boundaries need to be set in regards to um, the in-laws or extended family um, Someone also might be a troublemaker and they're always influencing the other person or manipulating someone, guilt tripping someone. Yeah, I feel like family could be an issue for those of you that have established relationships. They allow family members to intervene and, and, and cause a, a, a rift between the two of you. But if you're single, like I said, I feel like uh, someone is needing to overcome their shyness um, and have the courage to approach you. Somebody's been shot down a lot mentally. Somebody's been put down. Someone has been programmed to believe that they don't deserve love or that they're unattractive, even though they're very attractive. So I don't know what it is with that, but I, I do feel like if you're being pursued by this person, um, they need to overcome that. Um, I do feel that there's going to be victory in regards to your love life. I feel that if you're the pursuer, you're definitely going to go towards the person that you're interested in. You're gonna take some sort of risk. Um, and I see an act of bravery. If you at some point had lost your willpower, I, I see your willpower being restored, uh, or this is the story of the, the person coming towards you. They're, they're get, gaining the courage to come towards you. They're making some sort of decision. Once this person has their mind made up, especially if they have been under living under someone's influence or shadow, they're finally gonna make a decision to do what they feel like they need to do. And if they really wanna be with you, they're gonna come for you. They could have been letting friends or family, especially family, talk them out of pursuing you. But I feel like they're like, at some point, they're like, I'm just, I'm the one hurt here. Like, you guys are happy, not me. Let me do, I, I got to do me. I, I can't listen to you guys anymore. So, yeah, I do feel like someone is standing up for themselves. Um... I see you having whatever it is that gives you security uh, in a relationship. So think about whatever your love language is. Think about the things that make you feel confident or give you a sense of security. Uh, I feel like you're going to get that. For some of you, it is about money. It's like that you, you need your person of interest to make money. Um, so once you find out that this person is capable of providing a certain type of lifestyle for you, that, that would give you security.
See, and it is some for some of you is that that with that mentality about um, finances or some their love interest having to have money or security through finances is some sort of poor mentality or something that happened growing up that this person experienced that makes makes them feel like no you've got to have money. Also, someone needs to break free of some sort of mentality about something running in the family, like being cursed um, or feeling like, well, none of the women in my family got married or none of, you know, I feel like that's that also could be something that you need to overcome. You might need to practice more positive affirmations. I see. I see if um, an apology coming Someone wants to apologize or make things right again. Those of you that have been trying to conceive, I feel that an opportunity is going to come for you guys to try again. I want to say something about building up your immunity or like the strength of the uterus. I don't know if if a weak uterus is a real thing, I, I, I don't know, but I kind of feel like someone is uh, strengthening their body and I feel like someone is determined to make sure that they have a baby and they are strengthening their body and taking all the precautions to do so. Um, okay, so Three of Swords also looks like in the past, you were tempted. Something was taboo. You probably pushed someone away or ignored someone because you felt that something was too good to be true or something was too taboo for you to get involved with. But I feel like this person wants to come back into the picture and work things out. You still might uh, try to push someone away that comes into your life. Even though you feel like this person is your soulmate and you feel happy around this person. And then I'm just going to look at this really quickly. You might have a visitor coming. Um... Somebody might be getting ready to visit you. It could be a surprise visit, or you might be planning on doing this. I also see you buying a new car. I don't know what that has to do with your love life, but I see something about a new car or a new vehicle or paying for a trip. Something has to do with money and travel. Maybe somebody you were in a long distance relationship and somebody didn't have enough to come visit you, but now they do. <laughs> See, seven of a uh, chariot and uh, ten of pentacles again, same energies. So something about fi having a finances to now travel or visit you, or now someone has a vehicle to come visit you. Or you, maybe this is your situation. At first you didn't have enough money, but now you do. Somebody's getting ready to take some sort of risk. They're like, I don't care, you know, I don't care what people say. I want to take this risk. This is my life. Somebody's getting ready to take a blind, uh, um, take a leap of faith or walk out on blind faith. I also see somebody about to catch trouble, like you about to catch trouble. Could be a Capricorn, but it's still something about their energy is menacing. Mm. Also, just be careful what you ask for. Some of you are getting ready to confront your fears or your insecurities. And then again, it's just being reiterated about somebody being shy at first. Somebody is not innocent as they look either. They just act like it. But yeah, I feel like uh, if you're being pursued, 
uh, pursue, your pursuer was shy uh, or insecure or had some, something was holding them back. Maybe they were being manipulated, but they're overcoming that and they're coming towards you. So those are the messages. Uh, hopefully uh, they resonate. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.